Hello people of the internet, I am here to explain to you how to use this program which I made. Um, I never really, I never really, by the way my webcam is like in a really weird location on my laptop, it's like down there and so if I'm typing it gets my fingers in the way of the webcam. This is a Dell XPS 13 if you're wondering. Anyways, um, can you actually see is my face too big in the I don't know if I can edit where my face is or not. I don't think I can. So I'll just try and make sure that I don't put anything down in that part of the screen. So um, how does this thing work? So I originally envisioned this as something where you could click this plus button up here. Here, let me make sure you can see. Click the plus button and then add these effects. And then, oh, well, I guess I got to edit this effect. So this has a red square in it like which means that it's the thing that's selected so the red square means that it comes up down here and this for nerds only and I guess I originally envisioned this like you know in Serum FM Wavetable Studio you're able to link those effects together I envision this as instead of the effects over on the side you would have these boxes by the way, I'm on my porch and somebody is mowing their lawn, and so I apologize if it's hard to hear me. I'm literally trying to take as little time as possible to make this video, but um, there are these things down... It, it, in the original program, there's over on the side here. Let me get a picture of the original program so I can... Um, I can uh, show you what I'm talking about. There's these over on the side, and you can put link these effects together. And I guess I envisioned that instead of having these effects over here, you would have the effects come up as boxes, and then you can go and say, well, I want one more effect input up here. And then you get a dot here, and you can connect these together and link up effects that way. And then this shows that it's, you know, it's actually using the processing power, like, in your browser to generate this over here. Um, and then you can get those cool wave tables. Now that was like a crazy cool thing because I wrote that all in one like this thing that says standalone yoi thing. So if I select that and then I click standalone yoi thing, it comes up and it, it starts generating that and that's the only effect. And if you know anything about JavaScript, then to under here in this for nerds only, you can um, you can say like you can write JavaScript to do whatever you want. But I realized that this was kind of slow. Um, here, I'll show you how it's like slow. So if I pick this effect and I make it. Um, uh, See, I, I should have put, I should have put more stuff in here, but I just kind of got lazy and I was like, eh, I, I kind of gave up on this project, but I thought maybe if I make this video, more people will fool around with it and like it, but you can still do a lot of cool stuff with this, don't get me wrong. Um, try plus input FM. Okay, so this is an example of how this is going to be a triangle that's FM'd by this input here. So if I add something else and then I go down here and edit it and then I put make it another triangle um, and then hook it up to this then it's actually doing something new. Ugh. Okay so now what I gotta do is I need to multiply this input by X or is it Y one of them represents oh it's Y one of them represents um, the the progress of this slider and then one of them represents the progress of the wave table as it's going from left to right so you can see that's actually doing something um, if if I select this, I multiplied the input by Y plus X, and that's basically how you do FM. Um, you add just this formula kind of. I don't know if this formula even makes any sense, 
what I'm doing here. But like if I multiply y by 8, uh, th I guess this is a lot like um, the formula parser in serum on steroids. Um, and if you know anything about JavaScript and you actually want to get into JavaScript and you want like fast performance on this, um, I guess you should probably just have one um, one box here and then just go down here and say like instead of input zero just say try of x try x and then that like would get you to the same place but this bar is moving a lot faster now and then you you can like do cool you can make this thing as long as you want like I noticed in Sierra's formula parser you can only have 256 characters but this you can you can like write like you, and you get variables in this because it's actual JavaScript. I don't know if you know anything about JavaScript, but it's pretty easy to use. Like var, I can say var um, my try, or I could say just like try wave, and then I can say try wave equals try of x, and then I can put this down here try wave, and then like I can do other stuff to try wave, and it won't like. This thing won't be like 10 miles long because I can do stuff up here and like, yeah, the magic of coding. Whoops, just clicked the wrong one. Um, so, I don't know if any of that made any sense. So at some point I might make a, a better version of this video. Like I'm literally just out on my porch and I just decided to make this on a whim. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. I defined like deep in the crazy uh, code behind the scenes here and now I'm probably even more confusing because you people are like what is this window you just popped up but um, I, made, I made it so you, can, you have access to try you also have access to sign because there's a way in JavaScript to get access to those but I knew people were going to use them a ton so I just made that in there and then it makes things a little bit different. You can click download wave file and you can drag and drop this right into Serum. Uh, what else did I forget to talk about? Um, you probably saw from that this example here, this there's you're writing a pretend function when you're writing in here and you have access to this array of inputs. So like if I have 15,000 inputs on this thing, well I guess I didn't, I only gave you access to up to three but if I have three inputs on this thing, then I can access them input 0, 1, 2 in this inputs array. Um, yeah, I'm probably doing a horrible job of explaining how this thing works, and, I'm, and my video is probably in the way, too. Is it? Uh, oh, no, it's not too in the way. It's... Yeah, cool. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I'm a hypocrite because I'm blocking my own ads. Oh, one more thing. You can click this, um, let's say that, like, shoot. Let me put, uh, let's say, plus try of x times y. And that's like a sort of nifty wavetable. I don't know. Let's say that I wanted to share that with all my friends. I could click save the URL. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why is it not working? <sighs> Maybe it's because my ad blocker is messing it up. Uh, don't run on pages in this domain. Exclude. Saved URL. Shoot, that's not even working. Could have sworn it was working at some point. All right, well, does it maybe work in Firefox? Nope. I don't know what I did to break that, but I'll probably try and fix that eventually. But I had a thing where you could um, save it in the URL, and I thought maybe people could share their 
the wave tables with each other, but apparently that's broken. Anyways, I would love to know your comments on this. Is this, like, obviously I kind of gave up on it part way through, but is this something you would use? Or I thought maybe I should just kind of cater to the more nerdy folks who just want a way to just do this. Just basically have this and maybe the preview thing, hook up the saved URL and download WAV file, but get rid of like this part and just give people the full access to JavaScript so they can just like make wave tables with JavaScript because that'd be really cool. And that'd be a lot easier than all this craziness for me to program and stuff. I don't know. Hopefully now you have enough to get started fooling around with this thing and yeah. If you like, comment, and subscribe, that would help me out a lot. Especially comment, because I actually do want to know like what people think of this, because I haven't told like a lot of people about it. Um, yeah, and if people use it and they don't block ads, then I could actually make money from it, and then I would really feel like working on it more. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say about it, but I don't, I don't think there is, and I can always just make another video, so see you later.